Oh, where's my flag? There it is. two planks and a nail. Couple toolboxes. Shitty ones are there. Okay. What am I missing? Pretty sharp. We're all done. All right. Under, oh, can I put it like underneath here? So it does go underneath there. Okay, so oh, let me. Oh shit! There's no way I'm gonna be able to. Uh, I can get like. All right. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can move my car. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right. How much did it rain? Not much. Five out of 300. And we're running low on water. Oh goodness. All right. Let's go get some water. That'll have to wait. 
Junk. Get us some water from the well. Shit, I don't remember which house it's at. Shit, there it is. Oh, there's a bunch out here. Start getting water here and get jump. Right. Let's go. Text and drive. Pack your car. Alright. Alright, 
Let's go water some stuff. Seven fifty, that's what we want. Four to seven fifty, perfect. There we go. Okay, why, why are you not showing me? There we go. Why are you not showing me? Four sixty? No, a lot more. Yeah. to see uh see how the stuff actually looks right now it looks like hell all right 4750 4300 is good No! Alright, well. Our food situation. Thirty-seven percent. Whoa! 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 Hey, hey, hey! Nobody invited you. Hey, hey go, go away! Go away! You scared the shit out of me, dude. What's your problem? What's your problem? Now where'd I drop my damn gas can? Oh, this f fucking clown, dude. I freaked out and dropped my gas can. No, uh, oh, oh my goodness. Alright, find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What the? Where? It should pop up here somewhere. What in the fuck? Did. Bro, what happened? What happened to the gas can in my hand? Did the world just eat it? What? In the hell? Dude. I am just bewildered right now, but whatever. Yeah, I guess we lost the gas can. What the f... Uh what the hell? Hey. We lost the gas can. Picked up a watering can. We'll take it. 11%? Nah, it's gonna give me 11. That's... Dude. Come on. Alright, you know what? Put that in there. I think there's another well here in town. Whoop. Ninety-seven percent full. Holy crap.
zombie to my right. So we're going to hightail this way. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And there's cables. Did you try the perimeter wall and filling it with small sticks and deleting it over and over? I don't think I'm that far, so I don't know if I need to like really cheese my way. Whoa. It's on the ground? I never brought it with me? No, maybe. Man, I don't... Oh, that's tough. Maybe I am just a complete doofus and I did do that. I don't know. But I honestly thought, like... What, what are you watering? Why are you not watering this one? Dude, alright, I am getting very frustrated with you right now, bud. <laughs> alright, you're just making me very angry now. Alright, it's water. So you're... Roger that. All right, let's get some food in the belly. All right, let's pick these up. Can I put this in here if I do this? 
It'll go in there like this. I know it will. There we go. Ooh, that's a full backpack. Alright. And... Guess we're doing that. Uh, it's gonna be junk. Junk box. Uh, there, there, there. And then the garden is gonna be garden, garden, garden. But right now we need food. What's the metabolism at? We need some fat. Let's uh, let's get one of these MREs. That's a fucking monstrous one, dude. A hundred grams of fat, bro. I don't think I need that. Holy crap. The cheeseburger MREs are just the most unhealthiest thing of all time. Tuna salad MRE it is. Wow, that's terrible, dude. The other ones are horrible. That's so bad, dude. Look at that fat. A hundred grams of fat. I would do, like, I think my character honestly needs, like, 30, like, to fill up the bar. So, like, 100 would be, like, absurd. Even this one's got 55 and a half grams of fat. Like, my dude looks like Rodney Dangerfield in his prime. Just a, just a sow of a human. Alright, so he said, lay down the wheelbarrow blueprint. Where's the wheelbarrow blueprint? Right there. Put the planks in it. And just the planks. Ten planks. Holy shit, that's a lot. Alright, uh, drop, drop, drop. 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 Okay. Um. Wait a minute. How many is there here? Five? Okay. Sorry about the noise. But we're gonna turn on the chainsaw. Cut up these. do this. We can definitely turn this down just a shit. It's a little more, a little more manageable. making some planks right now and then we're trying to raise my engineering skill to the next point so I can get the next tier of stuff to build which is like this stuff right here so I need to get there so apparently if I start building this guy and then if I just put the planks in there, they said. So I'm going to put everything else. Uh, put my rope. So I don't burn through these materials while I'm trying to build this. And then this guy in here. So I think I'm in, yeah, I just got the planks. So he says fill with planks. So I filled it 8 out of 8. Now I'm going to destroy it. 
And oh shit. Alright, so let's I think I did go up oh my goodness, I think I went up a couple percent. I was at sixty eight percent. Alright, so seventy thousand six five nine. We'll remember that. Seventy thousand six five nine. Alright, fill it with planks. Eight planks right there. And destroy it. Seventy thousand six five nine. So I went up almost a little over two thousand. Two thousand two hundred almost. Whoo! It's almost like 2% per. So at that rate, I mean, I'm only 27% from, so that's what, 13 wheelbarrows? Oh, boy. All right, let's do it. Right, get this plank in there, and where's this one at out here? Why, how, how are you all outside the wall here now? Okay, and then destroy that beast. And then build another one. Use all the planks out here. Shut that door. Use those two. Alright, I think that's everything. We're not really building up a whole lot of food too fast. Let's eat some more stuff. Because we are going to house this pear down. We'll throw down a piece of corn. Oh. Let's actually weed the garden. We'll see what we get from there. Ba 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 ba. Move wood. In farming we're gonna level up here. Oh boy. It's gonna happen pretty soon. So get what ninety eight five seventeen, get like four hundred for weeding a spot, and I got twelve spots here, so we're definitely gonna level up. We only need about a thousand more here. Oh, that's not a crouch. Move that boy. Look at these. I got some pine trees. Christmas time. There it is, medium farm skill. Booyah! Not really quite sure. Uh, it influences the amount of harvested produce spread or speed spread speed of each farming interaction, like planting, weeding, and watering. Nice. So I can weed a little faster, can water a little better. Hopefully, get some more food when I do this. A couple. Of, let's see what we got going here. Got a pear tree that's still flowering. My cherry tree and my lemon tree that are still flowering. All right. Hey, trees take a while, man. They don't grow overnight, right? Ripe. Oh, Lord. Well, you know what we're going to do with that. Oh, we have one more over here. Jesus, this thing's taller than me. Yeah, boy. All right. We get nice couple cabbages. Hit me with that broccoli, boy. Spinach next. No spinach. You're shitting me. What is this? What is this? Ripening watermelon? Come on now. Hurry up, dude. Uh. Oh God. Well, look what we got here. Contains cannabinoids and terpenes for a good time. Hey, man. Scum gets pretty descriptive, I'll say that. They know what they're talking about. Well, Jesus, look at this, dude. This boy's just got nug on nug on nug. Oh, Lord. All right. We got a lot, and I think four might have been too much. Especially when they're harvesting that much. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's uh, do. Hold up. I think I'm, I'm thinking four is too much. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna destroy that one down in the corner there, and fill it with something. What do we got in here? A tomato. We already got watermelon, cabbage, broccoli, spinach, cherry, pear. We already got all those. Apple. 
potato we got. Why are you in here? You should be in the food. A tobacco. Garlic, sweet melon. Oof. I'm thinking... I'm thinking some garlic. I'm thinking some garlic. In fact, I might take out two of them. I might... Oh, man, I don't want to. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do some... S oh. Well, hold on. Well, that's interesting. I never looked at that before. So let's... Hold up. Take this and examine it. So the pesticides... Dude... Well, I mean, I wish I would have known. Good lord. There's just too much. Alright, where's my garlic? And, all right. We'll just do the garlic for now. Uh, uh, destroy plant. Alright. Fertilizer is what we need. And some more wawa. Okay, garlic's planted. Let's get some fertilizer and some water in there. Uh, nice, I got a 1 of 25 left. Perfect. Okay. Drop that boy, put that in your hands. Oh, I don't need water actually because it's still watered. How about that? Boom. And then... We're good to go. Put the water away. Let's continue making planks. And I ain't even gonna need to be by here, so we're just gonna destroy this. Then we're gonna. Oh. No, not the bow. Chainsaw. Check your fuel level. Let's see what we got here. We'll work with. Should be almost like 60. Barely even used it. 60. How about that? Boom. Alright. Turn that puppy on. So I can fit that boy in there. All right.
Where's... Hold up. Alright. Finally below 20... Uh, 29 kilograms of fat. I'm not a, just a pudgy punk anymore. Alright. Apparently 25%. Alright, so we'll just holster this boy. And let's build. Oh, shoot. Blew up the sticks. That's fine. Got a peep. Oh, what a feeling. What a feeling. Ain't nothing better. I tell you. Brother, I feel your pain, dude. We're gonna see how much gas is left on this after we cut both those trees down and all that wood. 15%. Zero. We dry. Maybe six. A few more. Alright, so it's gonna be in the tools, I believe. Yep. No. Uh, add fuel. This chainsaw might be the best thing ever.
Okay, move down the hill. Five more. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, now we need a drill. Now we need a drill. I'll build my workbench up there. Too full of a stomach. So you know what that means. We're just gonna do one of these in the corner. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Okay, yep, so that, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to make, tuck all this up. 
move all this crap up. Alright, there we go. So I'm going to make better arrows. I'm going to make metal tip ones. Oh, I'll get the chainsaw off the back. Tools. Some spinach. Come on. What in the? Did I just just drop that on the ground? Okay. So we're gonna look for feathers and uh, metal scrap to build these arrows. Cause I need one metal scrap and then a piece of it and then work with the toolbox essentially and yeah and arrows come from like hay bales this is, uh, I don't want that um, like these Lemon, I already got it grown. What's this? Don't need to eat it, but we're gonna eat it. Cause we Rodney Dangerfield and we thick. Goodness, dude. You're kidding, right? Bro. Oh, that's so frustrating. That the wheelbarrow would actually spawn right here. Like, so frustrating. Ooh, red onion. We'll definitely take some of those seeds. Heck yeah, dude. Um, and a needle for sewing. Sharp. Ooh. Shut that bar. That's not garbage you can loot. Thought I heard somebody in here walking. Nice. Corn. Ooh, corn would be nice to grab. Maybe I'll plant corn. That's what I'll do. I'll take out that, uh... Oh, what's that? Take out that other cannabis plant and we'll put corn in there. Alright, so we got 3, 6, 9, plus 4 for 13. Need more. I think arrows, arrows stack in 12, so if we can get roughly 30, which is a lot, I know. It's a lot. But we find them like this. Metal scrap. Oh. Peekaboo. Oh, 
arrow in the wall somewhere? I need a mobile phone. you and then it went down here I don't know if I stuck it in I can't find it you need to urinate you just did dude that's right but you ate like a half a cabbage and a bunch of other stuff uh, we'll take the needle put it right there alright ooh building right there that's circle one is there did I loot this one or did I just totally pass up this? Nope, pass it up. Look at this. So, no, no. Really gotta pee, alright. Oh yeah, we full. We real full. Potato and lettuce. Feather. Don't need matches. Industrial hoe. It's a lot, lizard. Three, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty two. Twenty two right now. Keep moving. Hmm. Oh. Absolutely. My gloves are in horrible condition. It's a drill! Let's go! Uh, it's too heavy to put in there, though. That's f holy shit. Alright, well, let's, uh. Let's put some of this stuff in the camo jacket, then. How's that sound? Those stack. Screwdriver for lock picking. Is that a 37 out of 40? That's damn near perfect. Oh, do I need the hose for anything? wooden chest. I should start building some of those. Large log shed. Oh, we're definitely building a couple of those. Storage shell for lots of stuff. Definitely building some of those. Improvised well. <gasps> we can build a well at the house. Holy sheep shittle magoos. Let's go, dude. Abso-fucking-lutely, man. That's awesome, dude. 
Yes, sir. Oh, barn. Feathers. Hello? Anybody in here? Uh, coming in, regardless. Love nails. Love nails. Hate stepping on them, but love them. Yes, sir. Eh. That's right. That's right. Yep, that's right. Nope. No zombies. Okay, puppets. What are you? Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll definitely take a corn seed bag. What is this? Cabbage? Already growing it, dude. Thank you. Uh, can I go out the front? Whoop. Nice. Crash. The shelf. Gasolina. Uh, check. Still some gas in there. Hell yeah. Um. A lot of space though. Repair kits. I already have like two or three, and I haven't really used them yet. Probably gonna pass on that. Ho 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 ho. Well, don't mind if I do. Alright, we gotta get this drill out of here. This is frustrating the piss out of me. There we go. Okay. I mean, this is, that's horrible. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Full. Okay, and the military pants as well. One, two, three, four, five, seven. There we go. All right. Let's find ourselves a ladder. Uh, seven, nine for sixteen. Eight more for 24. 29, it looks like. Is what we got there. Now we just need some metal. So we Ooh, hold up. That was rubber. Yep. I don't know what the parking center's for. So like a, can I, hold up, oh, it's a weapon repair kit, dude, holy shit, that shit is not easy to come by, so I got an idea here, do I sell that lock on me, no I don't, this thing's got one tire, one tire, Just missing a front seat and a f and a door.
Fuck it. Now I think it's so players are allowed one vehicle and one boat, bike, or more. Okay. So, motorcycle it is. Motorcycle it is. That's fine. That makes sense. Yeah, it's uh, to prevent vehicle hoarding and unneeded server resource wastage. Completely understandable. I say he's in the he was in the concrete. Brick. Figured it out. Alright. Let's get our arrows back off this dude here. I don't like this. Take those back, thank you. Take those back, thank you. Shut these doors. Plant this corn, baby. There we go. <clears throat> oh. Hi, Harley. How are you, Mama? Need some fertilizer.
Oh boy. make some new arrows and then we'll head to the dirt bike track oh we got some planks out here what do we got what the hell build mats okay There's a guy by the name of Richard Cheese that sings songs, or he does like cameo covers of songs, and he does them in like a 19. He knows who Dick Cheese is. <laughs>
So 8, 17, let's say 8 more is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31. Okay. And to make those metal tips, it's just, oh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need some here. Six sticks. Why is it that? Mm, uh. Six for six, okay. So it's six durability on your toolbox for six metalheads. Twenty-eight, so yeah, then the next one will be twenty-two. On the ground. It is isn't up there, yeah. No, oh, bud, come in here. Uh, too loose. Oh, I need to pick up those.
84104. Like 225, I think, per arrow. Which I think is a. I don't know if that's standard per arrow, but you think it'd be a lot more for the metal, but maybe it's not. Well, then you know where we're heading. The dirt bike track. We're going to see if we can get ourselves a dirt bike. Actually, I should, I think... Golly, where was that car? Where was that dirt bike at? I want to say it was like right here. I'm going to stop right there. Before I head down there. Because I think that dirt bike was at like a farm right there. So, so we'll see. Cut yourself on the edge of my table there. It's, warm. it's real sharp, mama.
Look at this, it's gonna rain. Hallelujah. Alright, build material. Don't know. Feather can go in the junk. Junk box. Here it is. <laughs> uh, don't tell me that's how you do it. Oh my goodness. Well, the diary just became hella more important. <laughs> yeah. Survival of my engineer, hold up. It brought up my survival. Dude. <laughs> no way did my survival just go up like 500 from rolling a joint. No fucking way. Watch this. Dude, 430 some, dude. Yeah. Guess what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep rolling these babies. This is hysterical.
off to the junkyard. Which I think they said is over in like B0. So we're going to have to go up that way. Good lord. Cut across. Holy shit. That's a. Uh, I think it's gonna be like that route right here. Go up, come down this way. Okay. So we gotta go down this way to the house, and then towards the point in the north.
are in we are in some sort of what looks to be oh, oh, that's the whole pallet then okay this looks to be some kind of like construction yard I just found a saw On a toolbox. Spice kit, dude. Let's go. Oh, a bell pepper. We love those. Alright, alright. We're almost we're on our way. Carrot or parsley. Alright. Always use a knife. Another parsley. Alright. Can I get him through the window? He go. I don't know what's going to happen if I light up one of these joints. right there, I'm assuming. Okay. Bolts. Nice, dude. This is gonna be... Oh, this is gonna be perfect, man. We're gonna move this into the quiver. And we'll move this in the quiver, too. Three, three spaces. Spinach. And nothing else. Oh my goodness. Oh! It's got a... It's got a fucking front wheel, dude. out there. Absolutely. Ta yeah, let's go. Eighteen out of twenty, dude. 
love box nails. Ooh. Metal baseball bat. What can we do with this? It's got to be a wood one. And then both have to be wood. Yep. What can we do with the metal baseball bat? I don't think we can make anything with it. Pass. Oh, there's a ba there's a baseball bat. All right, so now I just need to make. Oh, I can make it baseball bat with nails. Oh. I mean, why not? Should raise the survival a little bit. God. Break is a type to use Okay. C ones. Be right. We'll bleed it out. Uh oh. Yep.
still bleeding a little bit? Yeah, we're fine. Do I have any bandages? I didn't bring anything. We'll just take a vitamin. So we'll get sick. If we can find a rag, I guess we'll bandage up. But other than that, we should be fine. bolts and nail chainsaw what Ninety-seven out of a hundred. That's awesome. Damn, this place is huge. Yay! Let's go. I need one of those so bad. Ooh. Backpack, we're coming back down here. Hopefully, I can get out this door here. Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah, hey. Cream? Take cream. Probably need that for cooking. That's all in the same pot. Alright. on the ground, throw this here. What else can I throw in there? Like scissors. I'll keep those. The battery and the cream.
Okay, I need a needle and a thread. Hold up. Thread. Okay, next needle I find. Um, we'll fix it. The one we got out. Yeah, we'll fix that one. Put this one down here. That was my empties. Put those in there. Go to the. I think they said that's the junk area right there. So we'll head there. At least in order to come back for any bricks. Just drive the car down here. this grapes oh my goodness we love grapes in real life and in this game. Dirt bike rear tire. 
I have the cables in my other bag. Oh, that was very close. I could have been bad. Oh, shit. He wasn't fucking around, dude. Holy fuck, dude. This place is huge. This place is fucking huge. Can you search this shit? Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay, so apparently that scrap pile is different. Dude, what is this shit? Are you kidding me right now? Unbelievable. Alright. Tell me if I can search these tires. Oh my god. What's the front wheel for the dirt bike? Okay, nope. Back wheel for the dirt bike. Boop. Take them both. Okay. How big are they? Oh, they ain't big at all, dude. Um. Tire out that. Got okay, so it's got to be jacked up. Okay, well, we have a jack, so whatever. Put them in. See if we can get another. out um, okay put that back in cables on me now I need a bottle of water uh, what's my metabolism Jesus I'll take a few sips off this because it is just water right yeah that out. Drain fuel. Check. That's a hundred percent gasolina. Alright. Oh dude, let's dude, let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> So back to the brick place, which is ironically just down the road here.
we're gonna go see if we can this way. Lost her.
Yo. What's going on? Found a dirt bike. Found some wheels. Sweet. Yeah, uh, that dude, that junkyard's fucking, fucking sweet, dude. Yes, it is, isn't it? The fucking stack cars. Bro, like, the tire piles, the scrap piles of metal, like, you search one, like, scrap pile, and there's, like, 15 pieces of scrap metal. It's like, oh, yeah, don't mind if I fucking do. Oh, I didn't even check the scrap metal piles. They upped them. Yeah, if you, like... It used, it used to be, like, the cars. There was, like, one or two pieces of scrap metal in them. Bro, there's probably eight in each pile. Oh, fuck, dude, I'm going there. Yeah, dude, and I was like, holy shit. Airport. I was like, holy shit, dude, for scrap metal, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, the meta used to be, uh, parked cars. Parked cars used to have, like, eight or ten fucking scrap metals in them. Uh, here, let me make room in my car for you. Repair kit. Tire. Tire. Um, tire repair. Huh. Oh, dude, I don't need you to make room, dude. I got it all. I got the jack, the repair kits, and the tires all in There's the back. There's room in the bottom for you now, in the in the oh, car. I got both my tires, a jack, and a repair kit, and a tire repair kit all in my bag. I think I'm good. Ah, oh, nice. Oh yeah, hey, so you, you see your door over here, how it looks unpainted? Yeah, both the back ones are, so I found both Should those, uh, at, uh... Yeah, you, you can actually hold left click on, or, uh, F on them, and, uh, repair the doors individually. You can do that with each individual piece, too. I don't know if it matters. Oh my god, you're, dude, you're a saint. Yeah, so, roof, uh, sides... Oh yeah, you can do that, too. Did not mean that meant to repair it. <laughs> Uh, All right. Repair. There we go. Uh, yeah. So that uh, bumpers, uh, fenders, but mostly, I think the only thing that would require your car from blowing up is uh, your chassis, which is the main that you can see. Okay. So my, I guess my next question, I suppose I could figure it out, but like, what's the next like material that I need to upgrade my uh, my base? Because it's like obviously it's like twigs and rope and like log now. So then, wouldn't it be like? Oh, so yeah, this next one upgrade is gonna be uh, uh, logs and planks. Okay, just strictly logs and planks then. Okay. Not not strictly, but mostly. But yeah, mostly like the basic materials. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, it, again, it'll be a cutting tool, and then after that, it's gonna be your metal, which is gonna be a blunt tool, and then uh, that'll be metal pieces and bolts. So save up bolts. If you have a recipe that can take either bolts or nails, use nails. Okay, always use the nails right on. Yeah, and crafting if you can. Um, unless you're doing so, unless you're doing walls, like the the base walls, the perimeter walls, that yeah. requires nails to upgrade because it goes into barbed wire. Okay. Yeah, dude, come check this out. You went three story with it. I mean, I haven't built yeah, anything right in it, but. Just, just got it made up last night. Right on. Hey, so the spiral staircase. A lot of people don't like them. They take up less keep space. Stacking. Well, yeah, they they take up less space, but you can keep stacking the first tier over and over and over, and then finish it off with the uh, with the cap whenever you finish your level. So it's not just one story. It can go, uh, and it can go increments of half stories. Oh yeah, no, I know. I just, for some reason, like when I built this, I was like, I realized that like immediately, because you're talking like those, because like these stairs take up like the whole square space versus like the spiral takes up just like a small little portion. Well, no, it takes up a whole square space too, but it, it only goes up in one spot instead of taking multiple spots. So you oh. can do like a, like almost like a stair shaft. Right, right, right. You can just have, like, one column just be stairs instead of having it, like, have... Yeah, like I got. Yeah. 
Right on. And then also too, so like let's say you want to do like tall ceilings, you want to do like a uh, wall and a half, then you can use the uh, spiral staircase because you can do half uh, stair oh, increments shit, okay. or half wall increments. That makes sense then. That's sick. All right. Yeah, I'm just trying to no, come I up with anything I, else. Thing. I appreciate that, man. Oh, good. Yeah, it, it's all about like conserving space. You know what I mean? Right, and that's like the whole thing. So I was like, I was trying to figure out like how I could get like the most space here without like making it look clustered and shit. So like up here, I was gonna put like my workbench with like my toolbox because I, oh yeah, and then I found out the hard way the wardrobes you can't move. You have to just basically empty them and destroy them. And yeah. I was like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> but it is what it is. Yeah, they have good storage though. I mean, honestly, maybe just leave it. Don't destroy it because you're gonna end up, uh, dude. I end up with like fucking twenty storages. Right, that's what I was thinking too. Is like, I'll just it'll eventually just be renamed something else. Like I'll have it like you know, I'll have two yeah. storage lockers for my garden or food or my fridge or whatever it is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I have like a little loadout thing that I keep by the door with all my current shit that I swap out a lot. So my next question is, if I have my fire, like I was gonna have like my kitchen. I was essentially gonna have my kitchen up at the top, I guess, like up here, like have like a whatever would be like a table and have like my cooking shit up there and that would be smart I guess because you wouldn't want to have like my kitchen below and then have my bed up here because it would be really hot because I'm sleeping right above the fire uh no nah, it doesn't work like that it's it's strictly perimeter to it so below or above it's a certain amount okay and that's only if you're using the fire I don't use the fire anymore I use um cooking stuff like the portable the generator kitchen. yeah okay that makes sense no not even the portable the white one Oh, like the electric one. Yeah, the electric. That's oh, that's shit. the because you got the you got the two spots on it, and it it doesn't take dick from the uh, generator. Oh wait, I thought I had a. Oh my god, dude, you're right. It's only got one stat. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, you're talking about food. the red one. Yeah, so that one also that's gas, right? So that yeah, one you gas. can fill you, you can fill up. This one's kind of cool. So keep this one in your car. Okay. Um so basically you can fill it up and then like use it like a pull it out and then throw a pan on it and turn it on. So it'll you, you know what I'm saying it holds right. a, a finite amount of gas. Yep, but yep. you can't fill it up with gasoline. No, yeah, it's propane. I got uh I think Oh, you got one of those tanks? Yeah. Yeah, so that stove will hold 10% of that tank. Okay, so... I'm actually probably... I probably should put this in my car, because, like, I think that's what I did. I found it, like, one in, like, a garage, and I just, like, found, like, another one, like, in the garage next door, and I just, like, filled it up, essentially, and... Yeah, but it's only got, like, 12% in there, so... Yeah, so you can fill it up at a gas station. The other thing is to... Um, oh, the gas stations have the LP tanks. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah, yeah, propane. You just go over. Nice. I'll put it in my car. We can gas in the propane. I'm behind Kale and I'll sell propane and propane accessories. Oh, anyway, so that thing, um, generally, so we don't do it on this server, but if you take over a house for a base, that's for the cooktop, the four burner cooktop. Okay. Okay. You put that in the area and it sucks like the generator does for the cooktop, but you have to have a generator for the oven. The oven is electric, but the cooktop is the, uh, gas. I gotta. I don't. I don't think I can build those yet. Are those in the advanced section? I'm assuming. No, 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 no. So that's in the houses. The the stoves that are. In oh, the, houses. And the actual like houses in the game. Oh shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't do bases in houses because we don't have to worry about PvP. Right, right, right. And we're, we're more worried about people having access to loot. I'm sorry, Val is more worried. I act like I'm like part of it. Howdy, howdy. So yeah, uh, so yeah. Uh, the other thing is too. So there's certain things you can't. You can only cook in the oven. In the houses, like bread and pizzas, and casseroles. So, like the like the baked goods, essentially. Yeah, stupid bread is right, cause I use that shit for fucking fish bait. Till I catch my bleak. <laughs> That's why you're fat. It's cause goddamn cheeseburgers. Wasn't the potatoes? Ah, uh, you try to make drink it fat so you feel better about yourself. <laughs> Sabotage. So we're attempting to go get a bike from the brick factory. Is a uh, water bottle's worth of gasoline going to be enough to get it to a gas station? Uh. Oh, there's a gas station right there. The brick factory over in... Yeah, over in B0, yes. Oh, yeah, right there on that street. Yeah, right. Make that bend. There's okay. a gas station Okay, right, right there. that Y, okay. It's like the deadliest fucking gas station. I hate it. Bro, uh, I see. So that's that's like the first one that I actually seen like the LP tanks at, and now it's like, ah, uh, great. Yeah, they're they're at all of them. They're at all the gas stations. The LP tanks are. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Now, now that I know that, I'll go get that on another time. Yeah. If you just kind of like look around, it's usually like right where the pumps are. Oh, that one, yeah, that one's deadly because the fucking city. The other one's fucking deadly because literally if you drive a little bit in the grass and that fucker spawns while you're driving, dude, you're, you're, you're toast. Toast anyway, he'll be sitting passenger side. It'll be my human body shield. Alright, you ready? I think, or at least, uh. I don't know, I feel like C3 can still. Oh, well, C3, I always use the cut go. through across, so I don't, I don't worry about that one. The other one you can't cut across. You can't like shortcut it because of the fucking trees. I'm telling you, the one I'm, I'm talking about is the deadliest because there's no way around it. All right, let's go. Uh... Harvested my first plant of, of weed and rolled up a couple joints.
put it back one second. It's just what it I says under the. Awareness. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Fucking hell. I like Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy's a hell of a character. Yeah, the second one was kind of lame, but the first one was, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. You got my fat ass in here, that's why.
Bro, you lose intelligence for being stoned, apparently. I find that very hard to believe. I think you'd be more intelligent, right. to be honest. Yeah, like, uh, better, like, philosophize. Man, your creativity's through the <laughs> roof, dude. Oh, he smoked that fucking log, dude. Oh my god. He fucking smoked that thing. Uh, yeah, he's outside the car right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think spawning another car. <laughs> <laughs> I did that today once. <laughs> he's probably like, ah, hell with it. Dude, hey, yeah, hey, be real careful. I don't know if it's these car now, because what's his name did it in the, the Vol uh, Volkswagen the other day. Dude, uh, head on collision. I was only going like 30, and I was like full health. Yeah, so on my other on my other server that I played on, uh, I I'm pretty sure I head on collisioned in a Volkswagen or whatever, but it like it rubber banded me and it slammed me into like a pole, and I was doing like 50, like just through a city, just kind of cruising, and it took like two thirds of my health all the way down and it ruined my car. Oh shit, you got cables? Yeah. That's the one thing I forgot, fuck. <coughs> you don't need them, it's kickstart. Oh shit, okay, never mind them. And yeah, we got Val too. Good deal. Yeah, I try to, I try to do as much as I can without the admin help. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, this one I drove by, there was uh, a shit ton of zombies, and the gas station's actually rather close to the road, too. Like, there's not a whole lot of room for air. Yeah, the beeper, if you, like, are in the grass to the right, it'll get you. Oh, I thought he was gonna blow up, dude. I thought he was going to. Val, you smooth. You slick. I don't know how you did that. Alright, it's right behind the uh, metal building right here on the right, the big one. So when you pull in, yeah, just go to the right. This place actually had some pretty good loot, man, for like. Industrial shit had a bunch of toolboxes and stuff. It was pretty cool. Should be right here. Yeah, there she is. There's the butte. 
Yo, Honda 125. It, it's a Ronda. Settle down, boy. I'm taking my bike and I'm getting out of here. I'm taking my bike and I'm getting out of here, boy. engine red. You can paint your bows, did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah, look, I painted the black part red on mine. What the fuck? Uh... And then I did my guns. Uh, so I got the, uh, what is it, the SD, uh, MP5. Because I was like, you know, what's the best fucking thing? I was like, oh, that's got a built-in suppressor. One less thing I gotta fucking worry about. I don't know if I have the um, DLC. Is not that come with the DLC? No, 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 no. It's, it's in the game. Oh, the paint. This this is free yes. paint. You get you, okay. you get some of the paint. You get you get all the colors and you get two patterns for free. Uh, psychedelic pattern and um. Oh, here, get the fucking gun with me. Hold on. Check it out. That looks sick. Bro, that looks so fucking cool, dude. That's awesome. Then here's the psychedelic. Black and black and red. Whoa, it's like uh It's like some tribal art. It looks sick. Bastards, any money, but man, I kind of do want to play with those patterns some. <laughs> and it's only like what two ninety nine or something or four ninety nine. I could deal with that. Yeah, I just have a problem. They 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 dropped like fucking five or six DLCs since fucking what do you call took over. I had all of them that Game Pirates did. Because they were like, they needed the money, so like, I didn't even use the Danny Trejo thing, but I fucking bought it, because I wanted to fucking support them. You spent five bucks in worse ways, though. Well, the Danny Trejo thing, I think, was like 12 or 15 or something. Oh, is it? Basically, like a business plan. They were just showing, uh, like, uh, uh, that they could they could sell DLCs and make a profit. They they like had good uh, turnout for the sales, which they did because it was a small company.
for like the third tier of the build or whatever after like the logs and planks is it like bricks and cement that's uh, metal first metal first and then it goes in, then it goes into the fucking cement shit okay and i think it's like one or two tiers of cement and then brick oh jesus oh my goodness I was like, what the fuck? What kind of bow is that? But you get your uh, fucking rifle in front of it. Thought you had some, like, new weapon. I'm like, what the fuck? Twig, wood, metal, brick, concrete. That, okay. Oh, brick, then concrete. So for and for concrete, you need like a cement and uh, like the gravel mix or whatever. Yeah. Brutal. And oh, fucking no. no, that's not even the brutal part. The brutal part is the goddamn sandbags, dude. Oh, dude, I've yeah, I heard about those. Oh my god. Yeah. So sandbags, you gotta make the bags. They're five cloths per bag. And then you need like forty bags per fucking wall. Wow. That's brutal, dude. So you, so you need a shovel and fill up 40 fucking bags. Or it's like 30 something, but still. Ah, oh, look at there, it's got wheels. She's, she's ready to ride. Shit, so yeah, I don't know how uh, durable they are anymore, but uh, bikes can, uh, like, jump off of stuff pretty well. They look to be the same pink. Oh, it's the fucking bow. The bow, like, on the ends makes it look red. Yeah, like, the inside of the flanges almost look like the red. That's ah, those outside arms. Pretty close. They're like, I think the the bow is like a little bit redder, but, but like, I have fucking hair, like not enough to call it a different color. In the middle, though, like the pink looks almost like a little like lighter. I guess if you'd say like a little, I don't know, it's got like more of like a whitish hue to it. Oh yeah, and the like gun more of a pink pink. Yeah, and the gun is like a like a hot pink, like a you know. They match. Straight to that gas station. See if I don't uh, kill myself on the way there. Yeah.
Oh, I see the LP right over there. Yeah, so you'll see the right back there, the yep. always those big white tanks. They're at every gas station somewhere. Oh shit. Bro, and I always wondered, I was like, well, how can you check these? I was like, what the f what are these? Ah, uh, dude, it makes sense. Good lord. Yeah, they just started using it. Fucking all the shit's broke, you can't use it. Oh, broke ass gas station. Gas station has a fucking playground, Ed. <laughs> no shit, right? God damn. But it's in oh, Croatia, right, right, right. Oh, that'd be cool if you could get oh, up, they, up there. Yeah, they fixed it. You used to be able to climb up there. That would be cool. Oh, can you get over here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. So eventually there's going to be something with these uh, power lines too, because all these power lines were put in like, what, 0.75 or something, I think. Well, so they're going to run like electricity and stuff here. Yeah, they're eventually going to put it, yeah, 6.5 maybe. Dude, awesome. Yeah, you know, all the, the big towers or whatever. It, it's kind of cool they put them in. They kind of made like little uh, throughways. Yep. I'm gonna clean my pipe out real quick, give me a second. Oh yeah, it was before planes because I always wondered if my plane would get caught in a wire, but it does not. Planes were fucking cool. Yeah, you could. I tried after I accidentally got close one. For Skyance. I wish I would have played when there was planes. That shit sounds like it was fun. Interesting. They were kind of useless and basically just a death trap. <laughs> I mean, like, just the mode of transportation would have been faster, you know, instead of just taking the roads, you could just cut way across. Uh, yeah, it was a death trap. Like, one out of ten was guaranteed a fucking crash landing. That's brutal. They were just like, I don't know, they were made out of dynamite or something. <laughs> uh. And then they just do crazy shit like fucking one time I was like uh, taxiing and it like it rolled forward. So I get out, the fucking thing stalled. I get out, I fucking push on the wings fucking to push it back. The fucking engine turns on and cuts me up with the goddamn propeller. Killed me. Oh my god, yeah, that shit would be brutal then. I was like, the fucking engine was stopped. But like literally, it like turned back on as soon as I pushed the fucking uh, plane. It just needed a push start, dude. That's all. Yeah. Just wanted to kill me. I sur I survived the crash, so it needed to finish me off.
Nah, I pushed the plane because the plane started rocking back and I didn't go to push it again and it just fucking like turned on. It was just a bug. It was when they first thought it came out. Yeah, what well, was the shit? I have untreated cannabinoid poisoning, and it's going up. I'm some chain smoking these. I'm gonna see how this works. It's a C1 right now. Is it gonna get? I wonder how bad this is gonna nice. get. Nice. I don't know if Val did it. She said she couldn't pass out or fucking die or anything. So nothing really. Nothing bad happens though. Fucking weed. Nothing can happen. Well, I know, but you know how like the games are though. The games are just ridiculous sometimes. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a try hard. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Yeah, I think, what, in the history of the world, there hasn't been any fucking OD on marijuana until fucking gummies. You're fine. Just lay down, just take a nap. You'll wake oh, up yeah, hungry. It's, it's, You'll be alright. Yeah, it's basically people having panic attacks and then having a heart attack from it. Yeah, yeah. I figured. We're at a C2 now. Oh shit, we're rising. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll tell you what though, those fucking, the uh, 100 milligram gummies are going around all over the place right now. Those are fucking ridiculous. That's the end of your day. Bro, that's not, that's not even that bad. Uh, we used to be able to get these fucking Just a things. Just single though. No, I, no, I know. <laughs> we used to get these things, dude. Uh, they were like these nerd ropes. And like, <laughs> nice. I think like the like the entire nerd rope itself was like four hundred, and like we'd split them. Oh yeah, dude. And like I split one, so like it was like two hundred, whatever. And like some days, like depending on like it wasn't like as bad, but dude, like some days it'd catch you with like an empty stomach or something like that. And dude, you would be oh like, yeah, you'd be fucked, bro. Well, and like I could do a hundred easy, like over time. Like I'll fucking eat thirty, forty milligrams at, in one sitting, no problem. And like do that a couple times in a day. But man, a hundred fucking mil gummy just right off the bat, dude. That's that's the end of my day. A lot, yeah. And that's the thing. Like a lot of people don't realize. Like it's like it all depends on like if you have a full stomach and what like your obviously your tolerance level plays a huge factor into it. But oh like, yeah. A lot of people just be eating these gummies, you know, on like an empty stomach or something like that, and it's like there's nothing for that to absorb into, and so like, and then also like, you get the whatever it's, uh, fucking Rogan talks about all the time. It's like five methyl. It's when your stomach digests it or whatever. It's like seven times more psychoactive than smoking it, and that's like why people think like they start freaking out and they see shit and stuff. Oh yeah, well, dude, you eat enough, man. You'll figure out why it's fucking classified as a hallucinogen. Yeah. Dude, back in the back in the day, we used to make brownies, and it was just me and my roommate, and we fucking every time we made them, we're like, dude, we need to make them stronger so we don't have to eat as much, but we'd still eat fucking half a tray each, and it got yeah. to the point where we were doing literally like a QP a fucking draw on these things, and then eating <laughs> two ounces of fucking shit each. Yeah, it just yeah, like you said, it just becomes a point to where like. You're like, we'll we'll make it more potent so we don't have to eat as much. It's like, no, you're still gonna eat four pieces. You're just gonna get more fucked up. That's all. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we were literally off that last batch me and him did when he still lived in Houston. Fuck, dude, that was like, I was fucked up for like four days, dude. Like the first two days, my equilibrium and uh, my eyesight was just completely fucked. Uh, on your face? On your face. <laughs> there you go, Val. Have one. It's on me. What a pusher. First one's for free, right? Yeah, hey. There you go. You can have one too. I takes my mask off though. The the red around the screen is getting 
pretty fucking intense though. <laughs> like, my, dude, <laughs> it's like getting tear gas. Yeah, dude, it's pretty. Yes, exactly. It's just like getting tear gas. <laughs> did you, did you get tear gas? Uh yeah, yeah. When we were doing the mech shit, uh, it was actually pretty hysterical, dude. I was the only person without a fucking mask, the... so they would just throw tear yeah. gas down all the time. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of people I didn't have, so they kept doing it. Who the fuck was throwing it down though? That shit was funny as fuck. Uh, Puck. Oh, that's right. Shit, I'm gonna break up a little bit more too, real quick. Might as well. Yeah, it's kinda funny, we, me and Val used to hang out like, me and her would like smoke in real life and just hang out on my porch or whatever in the game and like, you know, act like we're hanging out and smoking, but now you can actually fucking smoke in the game. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, this dude, this game is fucking wild, man. Yeah, we're fucking super stoners now. Yeah. <laughs> We've been standing in a circle. I <laughs> pretty dude, isn't that fucking funny? Like it's just like a <laughs> typical fucking stoner shit. Yeah, so we we had a fucking we did some research uh, at work or whatever. We'd always watch after work whenever we'd sit around and like not even be smoking. We'd always fucking congregate in a fucking circle. Oh god, we got problems. I went okay, from I, I uh I went from a C one to <laughs> all the way to a C three and we have now oh, added nice. on to disorientation, bloodshot eyes, heightened senses, we've added dizziness and diarrhea. I don't know if this is good. Oh, you're gonna shit your pants. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Val, what's gonna happen to me? You're gonna shit your pants. It won't be the first time. Shat my pants in real life, shat my pants in the game, no big deal. Yeah. Oh man, we we're on a job in uh fuck, where was it? Uh Tennessee and this fucking one guy we kept on going back for like they were building more machines and having us move other machines and all this other shit. So we kept on going back and this one guy was always there and he's working on the fucking military base the other way down the fucking highway. And this dude so he worked nights, he was a fucking alcoholic. He would have to drink like a fifth just to get to work. And I'm like, how are they not catching him going onto a fucking military base? I was actually fucking Fort Campbell. And then, uh, so, uh, yeah, so one day he was like, he was like super sloshed and we're just coming home from work. He's a little bit late and still hasn't gone. And we're like, oh man, he's a shit show. I didn't like the guy. I always fucking took off when he like tried talking to us. He was at like at our hotel. And then, uh, so he like leaves and like 15 minutes later, I guess he didn't make it in. He gets fucking kicked off the base, and he's just like fucking moping in the parking lot, drunk as hell. And he stands up, and somebody's like, "Oh my god, dude, look, look!" So we all look, and he's got a fucking like half dollar size spot right in his ass that's brown. Oh! <laughs> Ever since then, we call he didn't even know we call him old shitty. Oh, that's terrible. I've never done anything like in super in public or anything like that. I've never done anything like, like, in fucking embarrassing, like, in public like that. But, like, obviously, like, I've had, like, your fucking accidents, like, when you're super sick Sharks. and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, when you're at home and shit like that. Oh, yeah, I did one but, on like, the bed. That was pretty gross. Bro, I've had, I've had a couple friends, though, <laughs> that have done, like, some fucking super scandalous shit, like, with, like, their fucking, like, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, uh... I have a buddy that, like, when he gets really drunk, he just can't hold his bladder or his colon, apparently. And he, Oh, God. Yeah, dude. And we were at, uh... We went out to eat one... Or we went out to the bar, I think, one night, if I remember correctly, and came back, and we had gotten, like, I want to say, like, either Chinese or something earlier in the day, and we came back, and we fell asleep at my cousin's house. And he, my cousin wakes up in the morning, and this guy is no longer there. 
and there's like a wet spot on his couch or whatever where he was sleeping. So he's like, bro, he's like, fucking dude, dude, piss the bed or piss my couch or whatever. So he gets like, towel, gets a towel out, 409s it or whatever, and then like does all like the shit or whatever, gets like his fabric cleaner, sucks it all up, and then all of a sudden, like an hour later, like there's like this fucking stank smell coming from his fucking living room. And he's like, bro, like, what, what the fuck is this smell? He lifts up the fucking cushion, dude, and under the cushion, my buddy shit his pants and just took his underwear off and rolled it up and just stuffed it underneath the couch cushion and left, bro. So he pissed, he pissed the couch and he shit his pants and then left the shit under the couch. Like, dude, like, why wouldn't you just throw it away in a trash can? Like, yeah, dude, I have, I have some fucking friends, dude, that like do some fucking straight rude ass shit. And it's like, bro, like you're almost like to the point where it's like embarrassing to bring you anywhere type of thing. Yeah, I used to have those friends back in my 30s. Love them, love them to death. Love them to death, but, like, yeah, it's just, like, when we go places, like, you worry about bringing... Hey, <laughs> dude, I, I said that. <laughs> I said that yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, that situation, it's, 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 that's tough. But, like, we've been, like, at, like, friend's house, and, like, in the middle of the night, like, he's just got up and, like, just, like a, like a vampire dude just stands up and just walks to like the corner of the room and just starts pissing in the corner of the room. <laughs> and it's like, bro, like, yeah, what the fuck, dude? That. You're like, bro, like, what the fuck, dude? And like, yeah, I was standing. I've just, I don't know, like, I've, ne I've never been like, I'm not a huge drinker, so like, it, I've never been like, that drunk to where like I have that much in my fucking bladder when I pass out or whatever. Usually it's like, you know, three, four shots maybe tops and like I'm done, uh. dude. Ah, oh, fatty. Eating Jeez. too much over there. Fucking burping in my ear and shit. Fucking Popeye eating the spinach. <laughs> I did that while we were doing the max. Somebody was like, God damn, control your mic. <laughs> I was like, it's my character, sorry. <laughs> right, right, right. I feel you there. Yeah, I actually never got into trouble from drinking. I got into trouble from a whole bunch of other shit, but never drinking. But I did my fair share when I was younger. I was. Uh, I barely drink now, like a couple times a year, if that. Right, that's me. I always just, I don't know, like I always thought the consequences for drinking and shit were like super bad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, dude. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, in the U.S., in the U.S., you're looking at like thirty to fifty grand if you want to fucking get out of it. Bro, it's tough. You're first, Min well, depending minimum. On, depending on the severity of your DUI, like my my cousin just got one, but like he blew like just over the legal limit, and it wasn't like anything super severe. So it was literally he had just had to retake. Um, like a written test and then pay like his fine and like a restitution and then like reinstate like a reinstation fee or whatever but i know some people that have like blown like three times the legal limit caused like a pretty bad accident and like yeah yeah or if it's your second dui i guess yeah exactly like the the punishment can be really bad it can be like you can lose your license for like you know 90 to 180 days sometimes a year you get that interlock bullshit where you have to blow into that fucking thing to start your car anytime you want to go anywhere like that shit sucks yeah, that shit's pretty much standard if you don't hire a lawyer in Texas. Damn, that would be brutal, dude. Oh, I live in Minnesota, so, like, dude, a DUI is literally about as common as, like, a fucking speeding ticket in traffic court. Oh, bro, Texas, I mean, come on. Yeah, dude, well, we love our... Every, everybody career. has... Yeah, everybody has two and three, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I have none that. somehow. Yeah, yeah. I was, like... I been busted with like huge amounts of shit on me on on shit and i've never gotten any kind of like driving offense while on or anything i've been very very lucky i've been pulled over with like stuff on me but like never searched or anything and like the times where i was drinking and driving like i was trying to be like obviously as kosher about it as you possibly can and not to be an ignorant fool but like all it takes is some you know something to go wrong and you get pulled over and you're just up shit creek without a paddle yeah, I've gotten pulled over three times while drunk. Uh, well, two times I was drunk. One time I literally had like two sips of a drink. 
Med SMF. Aw, oh, bro. Uh, nah, you make that oh, D&D stay there. You... Yeah, right? That sucks. Nah, dude. You make her stay in there, dude. You pull out that. I'm just kidding. That's brutal. That's tough. Yeah, and like, like some, like I've heard of some people, like, they'll be like just driving down the road and like they'll go through like an intersection and they get t-boned. I was the DDD, yeah. Like even like you don't have to be at fault in the intersection or in the accident or anything like that, and they just show up and they're like, oh, you smell like booze, you're automatically at fault. It's like, bro, what the fuck? I'm at C4, and I don't think I can go up any higher. I am maxed out. <laughs> and nowadays, at least in major cities and stuff, you have Uber and shit everywhere, so that's fucking plus. How's that shit up in Canada? Y'all got that? Ride share crap? Where's Val from? She's uh, from the uh, Alberta communist state, communist Ooh. state of Canada. That's actually pretty close to Minnesota. Oh yeah, you're pretty close to Canadian. Yeah, I'm actually like, ain't, like ain't four hours from the right border. There. Yeah, ain't that right there? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't have the super thick, but after you said Minnesota, I could I could pick up a little bit. We, we drag our O's out a lot. Like when yeah. I say like boat or food. Yeah, but you're not really that bad. I didn't really catch no. on to it until you, because you, you were talking about Colorado before, so I was like, I didn't really hear anything. Dude, it's fucked up though. Like as soon as like you go like south, like past like Des Moines, people fucking will like rip on you for your fucking accent. Like, oh, you're from Minnesota, eh? It's like, dude, I'm from fucking Minnesota. I'm not Canada. Chill out. <laughs> Well, it's like fucking, what is it, Michigan? Like, everybody in Michigan's pretty much alright, but then you got the, the UP, the Upper Peninsula up there. Like a whole nother breed of people. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, um, Ontario, Manitoba. Is Alberta more to, like, the west, then? Like, over, like, Montana? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, the real middle of nowhere. No, that's... That's that's God's country. I mean, yeah, but uh, it's out. It, there ain't nothing out there. Right, right. No, there ain't nothing out there. I'm I'm a city boy. I don't like. I don't mind like this. West side there's yeah. The Rockies are absolutely gorgeous, dude. I don't mind like the city, but like. I don't know. I live in like a smaller city, I guess, and it's like just perfect. Cause if I lived in like like Minneapolis St. Paul area I, dude you'd find me hanging from a fucking street pole somewhere dude I'd just kill myself like sorry for saying that but like there's just no there's it's no way tiny town. I know like uh, it's, it's our capital I mean it, it's probably I'd say it's probably close to 750 altogether but like all together yeah like it's small like in relative to like Houston or like you know Chicago or New York or something like that yeah like there's no way I could ever live in those cities, bro. Like I dude. Nah, so I'm I'm like 30, 30, 40 miles out. I'm not in the city. But I mean it's it's metropolis all the way the fuck out, you Vancouver? know what I'm saying? You from Vancouver? Ah uh, yeah. Had some buddies live in Vancouver. Vancouver, that's over by New York, right? No, far west. It's over by oh, like Seattle. West, west, west. Yeah, it's like just north of Seattle. A lot of ferries you can take. Seattle's really turned into a dump in the last few years too, man. Dude, all the West Coast has. Pretty much, dude. Dude, Oregon with like the laws that they passed where they just legalized like all the drugs and shit, it is f oh. Bro, it is fucking I don't, dude, I don't even know how to describe it. It's wild. 
Well, and then, like, you get in more trouble fucking going into those safe places where they're allowed to do, do drugs. If you're not doing drugs, then the motherfucker's doing the goddamn drugs. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a wild time, dude. It is a wild fucking time. Well, shit, even New York City, dude. Like, I'm I'm pro marijuana, but I'm not pro marijuana wherever the fuck you want to do it. Hey, hey, don't be giving Joe Biden any fucking ideas, dude, okay? That man's so fucking old, he doesn't know what he's doing in office. He might just do that, okay? So let's let's not even put that on the table. Well, you, have you seen New York City? Yeah, man. I mean, like, all... It's like, a fucking shit show, dude. All like, the major cities are, dude. Like, they just get overpopulated and over, like, overdone, dude. And it just becomes, like, not, a nightmare. Not really... And and you could say it's even Democrat, but like all the cities in Texas are Democrat, but the only one that fucking is a shit show is Austin. That shit blew up way too fast. That's why. Nah, it just literally everybody from California moved there, and then they defunded the police. Oh, you're saying you're a Trudeau fan? You love Trudeau? You voted for Trudeau? <laughs> uh, I love I love getting Canadians riled up about Trudeau, dude. That seems to be like a pretty popular opinion that they f that they all fucking hate that guy. Like, how does somebody like that yeah, get in office? Well, again, so everybody hates Biden. I I have yet to really meet anybody that voted for him besides a couple of my shithead cousins. There's dude. There's a lot of people that voted for him, man. Like. I think after ah, man, the... I, I travel all over the goddamn country and I have yet to meet anybody. Oh, and to give you a fucking example, um, I know it was a fucking scam, uh, so I've never oh, yeah. fucking voted ever in my life. Uh, I never registered to vote because I found out in high school that as soon as you register to vote in the state of Texas, then you get put up for jury summons. Well, so I was like, well, I'll fucking never register to vote. I know it's a fucking scam. I'm not going to do it. Duh, duh, duh. Never got fucking jury summons until last year, and, and then I thought about it after I fucking threw it in the trash, and then I looked it up. I fucking registered to vote, and I voted, but it won't show who I voted for. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's. I think it's the same law here in Minnesota with the uh, with the jury summons. Because I never, I've never uh, registered to vote, and I've never been scheduled to do jury duty. And a lot yeah, of people that I know have. Forty years. Yeah, 40 years, never had one. And then fucking Biden gets in office and I start getting... Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that, Joe. Sorry about it. Yeah, I mean, I honestly really don't give a shit who's in office. It's all a fucking circus show anyway. But, I mean, that dude's a fucking joke. Well, I'm just I'm just so far down the totem pole, like you said. Like it like it doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's any president, any president. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. the fucking yeah. figurehead. Yeah, man, you're just you're just essentially like the dude that goes out in front of the public and you just you just smile and wave and shit while all the fucking people pull the strings behind you essentially it's yeah it's it's the career politicians the congressmen yeah. the fucking and all them shitheads we don't we don't need to go down this road because we're going to somehow get into the mitch mcconnell talk and i don't <laughs> even want to go there dude i don't even want to go there dude his frozen face stuck on a screen is just gonna oh, drive right. me to like a... yeah no dude like they're claiming like okay. he just had a memory lapse and he had a str no yeah like no yeah, no, the dude is yes. old. You probably, like, uh, have some kind of, like, memory loop thing going on him, and it fucking glitched. Yeah, dude, he's he's plugged in somewhere, and they just had to restart his mainframe. Yeah, <laughs> he's the beginning of the rise of the machine. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> it started with thermostats, and then ended with Mitch McConnell. Fuck, dude, that's so sad, dude. Like, it's just, it's tough to watch, man. It is. So, like, the couple things that need to happen. Number one, they need to do term limits on everybody, uh, uh, limit their pay, get rid of uh, lobbying, and then uh, 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 age limit, too. Yeah, dude. Like, if, dude, I th honestly, like, it should be, like, 60. And if after 60, like, you can't have any yeah. form of office, dude. Because, like, I just think at that point in time, like, you don't have, like, what's, 
you don't have like the better interest for like the country essentially because all those guys like you said their pockets are just getting greased by all these corporations and stuff just keeping them in keeping them in play because they're voting on whatever they want to keep in you know power or whatever exactly all their laws that so, they yeah, want they're intact they're not intact their, their, no their people they're looking out for the, the people who are lying in their pockets yeah yeah it's dude like and it's just it's just bribery it's Minis bribery. minnesota is actually probably one of the worst with those dude because we deal with the natives here they have a lifetime treaty with us and even before 60 you need a psych exam for th yeah dude, that's no lie dude. yeah for sure for sure for sure like and i'll even say 65 but you like need to be sharp, sharp. nah dude 60 60 is a good cutoff dude Eh. Bro, at, think about it, dude. But like, I mean, if 65, you be, people work to 65 nowadays. Yeah, not being a fucking politician running the greatest country in the world. Like, you work 65 doing, like, a cash register at a fucking holiday gas station or some shit, dude. Get the fuck, like, we don't need... Uh, gr greater at Walmart, man. That's all the president is anyway. Yeah, yeah, essentially, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome to Costco. I love you. Bro, like, from everything, from, like, the gif of him running up the stairs and tripping, to him falling off the bike, to him, like, b being shoveled off stage oh, every other yeah. day, like, it's just awkward, dude, to know that, like, he's supposedly our president, it's like, dude, that's supposedly the guy that we tell people that's leading our country, it's like, that guy, dude, all, all he the couldn't president. lead church. Dude, since, uh, fuck, uh, since, uh, Bush, man, Bush, dude, you go on uh fucking what is it youtube and like look up like all the misspoke shit of bush and like one montage that shit is fucking hilarious bro just making up words yeah 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 uh but yeah ever since him uh even fucking what's his name uh what, what the obama like obama spoke all right and shit but he was a fucking dumbass Obama was a great speaker, and that's why he got in office, but, like, dude, like, the shit he was doing behind the scenes, like, spying on all the other world leaders and shit and tapping into all their phones, like, oh, yeah, fantastic speaker. That's why, you know, he's a great public yeah. person. Great, great for what the president is. Like you said, he's just a face of whatever, you know, the Democratic Party or whatever. So, like, you send that guy out. Basically, I'd, like, look at, like, the president, and I don't know how Val's going to relate to this, but, like, the president is, like, the Roger Goodell. Of like the NFL, essentially, that's what the president is. He just goes out and deflects everything, and essentially just kind of like makes everything copacetic. Yeah, he's just he's the good dude that's just gonna smooth over everything. Essentially, that's all he is. Roger, uh, the, the president for the uh, yeah, he's, NFL. Yeah, he's the commissioner for the NFL. So he's As like the dude. Canucks don't really care about it. No, yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. But they, he's like they got their CFL. Yeah, he's the dude that just basically does all the public appearances and like whenever uh, any NFL player ends up in court for beating their wife or doing something stupid like that, he's got to go answer the public and be like, oh yeah, we're just gonna yeah, suspend just him or shit. we're gonna expel him and all that shit. Yeah, right. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna head back towards my base. Alright, uh... I gotta make I dinner soon. What the fuck I was doing. And I think it's gonna be dark, uh, isn't it? Oh no, we got plenty of sunlight left. Eh, a couple in-game hours. It's 19.38 right now. You're not a Calgary Flames fan? What's going on? You live in Alberta, dude. Girl, sorry, my bad. Man, I'll tell you what. I, I'm a Buffalo... I'm from Buffalo originally. I fucking hate all sports, bro. What? Dude, like, we, like, can't win shit. Oh, no, oh, true, true, okay, okay. Thought they might have adopted you, but nope, she's she's true Canucks. All right, I respect, respect. What'd you say about Buffalo? You can't what? Can't win nothing. Uh, bro, you ever heard of Minnesota? Yeah, y'all have won something, haven't you? Uh. Haven't y'all won a Super Bowl? Bro, we've been to four, haven't won any. Well, we went to four in a row. Yeah, but dude, at least you went to four recently. Our latest one was like in 72. I wasn't even a fucking relevant, dude. Well, recently is still 30 years ago, dude. Yeah, well, your team has a better chance of getting there now than my team does. Man, yeah, I doesn't mean they're going, dude. Duh. Bro, the Vikings are just the team of letdowns, bro. It's just tough. Well, man. yeah, you, you got a point. You got a point. I'll give you that. I super let this out. 
Or uh, what is it? Oh God, have you, you, uh, how far have you gotten in uh, what we do in the shadows? Have you seen that? Have you seen that, dude? No, I have not. Oh my God, you need to watch it. Do you have Hulu? I don't. Oh man, if you ever get Hulu, you need to check it out. I'll probably get it or soon. Or pirate it like Val does. Uh, I have. It's uh, worth it. It's funny as fuck. I have Spectrum, and they're in a dispute with Disney right now. Did you uh 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 did you see the the superb owl party yet? Instead of Super Bowl party, they oh, yeah, fucking mispronounced it. <laughs> superb owl, <laughs> yeah, because they're vampires. They don't know any better. They're like, oh, what what time is the owl show up? No, bro, you actually know why they do that, right? What? Super Bowl is actually trademarked. You can't say it. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. So unless you have the NFL's permission, bro, like you, if you do any content creation, oh, you so have to like call it. Oh, it's like a way of... Yes. It's like a way of uh, riding around it. Correct. That's pretty slick. Yeah, so the energy vampire is sitting there. He's like, yeah, I, I... You know, they were mispronouncing it, but I I didn't really stop them, so... Yeah, dude. Uh... Disney is in a dispute right now with Spectrum, who is my cable provider. Oh, that sucks, dude. Yeah, dude, and they pulled yeah, all I their don't do channels. Cable at all. No, I'm gonna get rid of it. But they pulled all their channels that are on there. So they have like the Disney, ESPN, um, whatever else they own, a bunch of other ones. They pulled them all off of Spectrum right now, and it's like, and then they went on Twitter and started. We're like, hey, if you have Spectrum cable, uh, just cancel and go to Hulu. Yeah, there's well, so like. I don't have any cable. I've got Hulu. I've got Netflix, Disney. You have the Hulu, um, Disney, ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus. I don't. I didn't do that one. I just did Hulu and uh, Disney. Cody, your popcorn out. time stream. You are my fucking savior right now, because you know I just had a site go down like two weeks ago, and I've been looking for another one. And you just saved my fucking day. So I'm just gonna fucking take a picture of that text real quick and remember that for eternity. I fucking love you, Val. I was in Discord or something. Bro. Awesome. Scrubs be Tuesday out for Cody. Danka. All right, well, I'm going to bring my bike back. Well, actually, I can just leave it here. Oh, I don't have a lock for it. Shit, you yeah, have to bring it home. All right, so I'm going to fly home or whatever. And I'll here, I can give you a lock real quick if you want. Are you sure? I just got to get off and make dinner, and then I'm going to get back on. Well, up to you. You can either drive it home or I can give you a lock. I'll probably drive it home because I don't want... Yeah, don't leave it here. No, yeah, I'll drive it home. You're all good. Thank you, though. Alright. Appreci appreciate the lift, man. Yeah, no problem. You caught me like right when I was about to start cooking shit, too. It was good timing. So I guess I'll start doing that again. Oh, there's a lock. Donka, thank you so much.
Hopefully it's raining down on the house. My compass is so messed up. Did it just air out? What the hell? No! My game crashed. That's fine. We'll stop right there. Actually, no. We're not going to. We gotta get back. No, we gotta get back. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let's just let's do this. We'll go back here. <laughs> Rebooting the game. Crashed on me. Hold on, Harley. We're gonna. What do you mean? What do you mean? Save for the mic. What do you mean? What? Right. I you talk. Say it for the mic.